Hi campers, welcome to Dot Base Camp. You know the title of this video is Best Soil Mix Palladium. Know the three secrets and the unseen component. There is a very critical component that remains unseen to us, and so we often pay no attention to this component of our potting media for adeniums. But if we clearly know the three secrets and the unseen component, we can prepare the best soil mix for our adenium plants ourselves. In this video, I will first discuss the three secrets and then I will discuss about the unseen component. Hence, it's going to be a very important video for my adenium lover friends. It's also going to be a more theoretical video than practical one. It requires a little patience and attention. So don't skip the video. You may also click on the red subscription button below this video to watch more videos like this. Secret number one, moisture retention. Adenums love adequate quantity of moisture retention in the media for the best growth. But that does not mean that the whole media is prepared with only moisture retentive components. Such media appears deadly to adenums. Adenums requirement of moisture in the media changes with the change of weather, seasons and the plant's life cycle. For example, adeniums need a little or no moisture in damp, cold weather and in winter. It needs adequate moisture in growing season. An well-established plant needs much water. A newly potted desert rose needs less water. A small plant in a small pot needs frequent watering. A small plant in a large pot needs less frequent watering. The media components are divided into two types, moisture retaining and non-retaining. Media with mass moisture retained components require less frequent watering. Now the fact is that it's impossible to change the media with the change of weather etc. So better to take a middle way, that is to keep a 50-50 balance between the moisture retaining and non-retaining components and to change our watering schedule with the change of the plant's water requirement. Some moisture retaining components are coco peat, vermiculite, perlite, cattle manure, vermicompost, cow dung compost, topsoil. Topsoil treated with homemade compost. The link in the description for details. Some non retaining components are sand grit, river sand, stone chips. Secret number two, drainage. Adenums thrive well in oil draining media. We use 50 to 70% draining components in our ideal media. Draining components are stone chips, sand grit, perlite, vermiculite, river sand, etc. Secret number 3. Nutrient. Nutrient in the media is a very potential factor. Among the components listed in this video, topsoil, cattle manure, vermicompost, cow dung compost are the sources of nutrients. You see, among the components, only vermicompost, cow dung and topsoil are the sources of nutrients.
will take 20 to 30 percent of such components. Number four, the unseen component. It's the most critical component in the potting media for adding amps. We can't see it, but it plays a vital role. It's the air in the media. We cannot add this component to our media, but our judicious selection of the components can make the media well aerated. Let's consider some facts. The gap between the two particles of the components in the media holds the air. The larger the particle size, the larger the gap is to hold the air. But increasing air in the media by increasing particle size declines water holding capacity. If the particle sizes are different, the smaller particles fill the gap between the larger particles and thus it reduces aeration. See how the small fine particles fill the gap between the larger particles. You see how the small particles occupy their pockets. So we should see by the fine particles and keep the particle sizes as close to each other as possible. This fine stuff will be rejected. Keep in mind that Adenum size the best in oil aerated, yet moisture retentive oil draining media that slowly releases micro and macro nutrients. Friends, uh, we are now well acquainted with some of the components used to prepare the best soil mix for all Adenum plants. Let's prepare the media soil mix. Our rule of thumb is oil aerated, moisture retentive, oil draining and slow release. We will take moisture retaining components 50% and non retaining components 50%. Sample soil mix A. Cocoa pit 2 parts, vermiculite 1 part, topsoil 1 part, kettle manure 1 part plus sun grit 3 parts and stone chips 2 parts. Sample soil mix B, cocoa peat 2 parts, pallite 1 part, topsoil 1 part, vermicompost 1 part, plus sand grit 3 parts and stone chips 2 parts. Friends, that's all for today. I think you can now prepare the best soil mix for your desert projects. So friends, if you like this video, please subscribe my channel, like, share and of course leave comments. Thank you for watching the full video. Stay well.